what's up guys welcome back to the channel like i mentioned in the previous video finally got some more stuff in for the ram i got actually quite a bit of stuff but these came in today they shouldn't take very long to put in but we got them here and of course friends over at amazon since so nice big old box so we'll get these opened up see what we can do probably one of the best things you can buy right here 20 bucks i know ryan showed me that on his video ryan mayer uh six seven lime so check that out it's like 20 bucks it's just like the soft opening so you can never drop your tailgate it's really nice but besides the point we'll get this box opened up and we'll show you what we're working with so one reason why i use amazon of course is the prices are comparable to the people that make products but you get that free shipping and i ordered these like two days ago and it showed up earlier so I'll put the link in the description below. I'm sure a lot of people run these already. But it's time to upgrade. Alright, should be a little bit better. You can see that me holding one hand. Box in the box. There we go. And as you can tell, looks like we got some new. Morimoto Ram 2019 to 2018 LED tail lights. So, of course, everybody knows if you follow the Rams and you have a Ram, you know that Morimoto makes really nice headlights for the Rams. Well, I already have the headlights, and they're not Morimoto, so I'm not going to spend more money on those set headlights. So, I wanted something nice for the rear. And since I can't really do color match because there's already a green ram that's color matched the taillights, so we'll just stick with the black ones. I didn't want to go red. I don't really like the red taillights. I mean, I do, but I don't. They look stock, but we'll go with these black housing Morimoto's. Let's so see. really nice so i might do a little bit of color matching on them later on but we're just going to run like this for now and I'll show you guys how well they're made and these are made for the trucks with non-led factory lights so just plug and play shouldn't give you any error messages anything like that really simple to install um we've got two torques and the tail light pops out unplug the wiring and we'll show you you know we'll put one in we'll show you before and after and we'll show you a little bit of comparison of the difference so let me get my torques out and we'll get started so if you have the assist you just push the clip up pop it off because it's going to block the way of the torques it's just a t20 torques i just use the impact faster unless you drop it down in the tailgate like that but Tell it just pull it straight towards you. It's got two clips that hold it. And we'll just pull them out, leave the bulbs there. So if you push the red clip in on the harness, it will unlock the bulb. Pretty sure we're not gonna need this. So we'll put it back at the factory lot. And I was already running LED reverse lights. So the factory plug on here. We just have two open harnesses. Just push in on that, pull it out. So then we got a tail light up here. Make sure these plug in correctly before we get it all together. So, like 
that in. Just make sure you put it in the right so it clips. Snap there. So push this back in here. Took all of our stuff out of the way. And then we'll line up our clips with the side of the truck. This plastic out of the way here. I just like so pull it off. We will make sure that our screw in put one in just to make sure to hold it before I do the other one so gives you a different totally look of having black I think the black and the green goes much better than the red so compared to the red and that so, just want to make sure everything's correct. We'll put the truck in reverse. Turn the key on. So we have our reverse lock compared to this reverse lock. And of course we have our LED strip still works because it's plugged into this left tail lock. Just want to make sure that we plugged in those harnesses correctly. Turn on our uh, tail light. So, way better. It's probably flashing a little bit different on the screen, but pretty cool. So we'll get this buttoned up and get this other one put in here. And I'll go over the difference of them both up together. So I got the other one out. It's a little bit easier because you don't have to move the thing for the tailgate, the uh, soft opening. Let's plug these in when we're clipped. And the lot should snap in. The other one, I didn't have the bottom one all the way on, so when it snaps in, you'll know it. It'll hold itself in there. So then you just want to look in there and make sure you line up your holes. I put them in hand. Start them hand tight. That way we make sure they're straight. hazards on and the reverse lot so we'll close this up here give you a little look see the difference and how bright these things are there's a bunch of reviews about how bright they are and i can tell you i already like the difference of having black housing headlights I'm not really able to show you the uh, brake lights because i'm not here to uh, hold it and do it all but Pretty cool. This is a lot different look. And of course I have the sequential third brake light. So when you shift it one way or the other, it's pretty cool because it has yellow, white, and red. So it's three color. So we turn those off. We can just do one turn signal. And you can see this is sequential. But these things are cool. It's like almost like a hologram inside because they look green, they look purple, they look yellow. So on the side, of the truck, it all matches now. It's like the only thing I think it'll look a lot better. 
it does look a lot better i'm not gonna lie compared to the red because i mean we already have the black headlights of led bulbs the projector style led so it's one thing i wanted to button up yeah they're a little expensive i think they're like right at 450 475 but of course you have amazon prime get them in no time get an extra box so we'll just put the factory ones back in there and of course we have the factory headlights up here um i'd sell this stuff i've got factory 3500 front springs all four shocks uh it's factory steering dampener because we run a dual kit but just want to give you guys a i mean just a little look see i don't i've never really looked at these videos to see if anybody has them but pretty cool we might go back and do the outline green and just leave the black housing i think that'd look cool but the black doesn't look bad either makes it there's a lot of black on the truck because we have emblems of course you have all your plastic bumpers and rails we have gray wheels and we're going to have that custom grill made well it's already made but it's going to be powder coated gray and green to match the wheels so we'll have a factory insert replacement here so just want to give you guys a little update on the truck as we've already updated on the jeep and we have the new 40s on there and the new 20 inch wheels bead locks from trail ready and maxis so pretty cool guys thank you guys for subscribing and hope is answering questions you have i know it's sweating it's hot out here finally hitting the june heat of tennessee so we'll catch you guys next time if you've not been here before don't forget to leave a comment below let me know if you run these taillights or if you like their headlights i really like their headlights but i just can't justify paying 1400 to 1600 dollars for some for some headlights that are and i don't know it's just a lot of money but if you like it you buy it if you don't you don't so all right guys we'll catch you guys next time appreciate you watching stay tuned for more upcoming content especially on the ram we've got several things we're going to go on it so you guys have a good day and we'll see you next time